When you think about the Tuskegee Airmen, you think about the warriors, the bravery of these young men to serve our country in a segregated unit during World War II. Through segregation, these men fought, faced immense challenges, made history, broke barriers, and ultimately opened doors. I'm Josh Chapman, a senior here at Pike High School, and I am inspired by the brave soldiers who participated in the Tuskegee Air Program. This summer, I was awarded the opportunity of a lifetime to earn my private pilot's license through Lyft Academy, making me the first pilot in my family. But part of learning new things is learning from those who came before you. In 1941, political pressure from the black press, historically black colleges, and civil rights groups forced the military to form the 99th Squadron, which became known as the Tuskegee Airmen. To me, learning your way around systems such as engines, piston aircraft, to different maneuvers in and of itself is a challenge, let alone you have that extra barrier of not being able to get access to the same resources, such as the airmen did. The squadron would begin with 13 cadets, but would eventually graduate to 992 pilots and almost 14,000 instructors, technicians, mechanics, navigators, control tower operators, and other personnel and staff. These men initially trained in the P-40 Mustang, however upgraded to the P-51 because their older planes affected their war performance, as was argued to the War Department by their commander. After successfully being granted to train in the P-51, the group moved to Italy, where they served alongside their white counterparts. The tails of the Mustangs were painted red, and the Tuskegee Airmen soon became known as the Red Tails. While there may have been some initial hesitation, white pilots soon grew to trust the Black Escort Squadron, even requesting their assistance to escort their bomber planes because of their effectiveness. The airmen were instrumental in providing aerial assistance in World War II, flying over 15,000 missions and damaging or destroying 237 German planes, both in the air and on the ground. They also destroyed nearly 1,000 transport vehicles, railroad cars, in addition to a German destroyer. They won more than 850 medals and were considered one of the Army's most successful escort groups. The 332nd Fighter Group was awarded the Distinguished Unit citation for their actions on March 24, 1945. All in all, the Tuskegee Airmen earned eight Purple Hearts, 14 Bronze Stars, three Distinguished Unit Citations, and 96 Distinguished Flying Crosses. Despite their outstanding achievements, they returned to the South where they were still discriminated against and had to face Jim Crow laws in addition to racism. The Tuskegee Airmen were pioneers, not only in military aviation, but importantly, in civil rights and race relations in the United States. They stood firmly between the ideas of the past and pushed the military and the United States toward the future. Looking through the adversity they had to face, the challenges they had to go through, that served as my ultimate motivation for me to get my private pilot's license. I'm Josh Chapman, and this was a Black History Story.